So you're thinking about moving to Tennessee and you're trying to decide between Knoxville and Chattanooga. But there's so many pros and cons to each of these options and it can be really hard to find the information you need to make a high quality decision. If that sounds like you, then this video is for you. Now, before we jump into things, here's a quick shameless plug. I am a licensed real estate agent in Tennessee. So if you're thinking about moving to the area, I would love to hear from you. I'll leave my contact info here and I'll leave it again in the description below. I wanna compare Chattanooga and Knoxville in five distinct categories, and the first of those is location and size. Chattanooga is known as the scenic city. It's nestled on the Tennessee River and surrounded by mountains. Signal Mountain and Lookout Mountain are natural boundaries that give Chattanooga a compact urban feel with stunning natural landscapes. Knoxville, on the other hand, serves as the gateway to the Smoky Mountains. The city is not nearly as compact as Chattanooga because it's not hemmed in by natural barriers. As of 2022, the Greater Chattanooga Metro had a population of just over 562,000, while the Greater Knoxville Metro had a population of nearly 870,000 people. The Greater Knoxville Metro is a bigger area than the Greater Chattanooga Metro, so population density is actually pretty similar. In Chattanooga, you have about 107 people per square kilometer, whereas in Knoxville, you have about 104 people per square kilometer. Now, if you're comparing these two cities in terms of size and location, the decision really comes down to your preferences, your lifestyle, and your needs. For me, one reason that Chattanooga's location wins out is its proximity to Atlanta and Nashville. Chattanooga is roughly two hours from Atlanta and about two and a half hours from Nashville. Knoxville, on the other hand, is about three hours from Nashville and three and a half to four hours from Atlanta. I like traveling and Atlanta has a massive international airport from which you can get to almost anywhere. So for me, living an hour and a half to two hours closer to Atlanta is really amazing. Immediately around the city, I think that Chattanooga is also in a more beautiful location. Lookout Mountain and Signal Mountain are gorgeous. With Knoxville, the scenic beauty is a little bit further out from the city. For some people, Knoxville wins because it's so close to the Smoky Mountains, Gatlinburg, Cades Cove. I really do enjoy those parts of Tennessee. However, they attract a lot of tourists. And in my experience, going up to Cades Cove or going to Gatlinburg or the Smokies, you're gonna be around a lot of people just because everybody goes to those areas. There are some really pretty areas that are less crowded in other parts of Tennessee, and that's where I prefer to go for fun. But which location is better for you is really gonna depend on your lifestyle and your wants and needs. The second category is economy. Both Chattanooga and Nashville have thriving economies. Knoxville's economy, however, seems to be a little bit more strong. It has well-established sectors in manufacturing, technology, healthcare, education, and energy. Major employers include University of Tennessee, the Oak Ridge National Laboratory, and the Tennessee Valley Authority. Chattanooga, on the other hand, mixes traditional manufacturing with logistics and an emerging technology sector. Highlights include EPB's citywide gigabit internet and quantum networking capabilities, Volkswagen's Chattanooga assembly plant where they build the all-electric ID4, and an extensive healthcare sector. If you want hard data on the job markets and unemployment rates of these two cities, I would encourage you to check out the Bureau of Labor and Statistics. However, it seems like Knoxville overall has more job opportunities. But if you have a remote job or you can work from home, then I think Chattanooga is a better place to live. The third category to compare these two cities in is cost of living. There are many factors that influence the cost of living, but the most significant is the cost of housing. So let's look at some recent statistics. This is data from February of 2024 from realtor.com. In February of 2024, the median home price in Chattanooga was $369,900. Knoxville's median listing price was $425,000. In Chattanooga, the median price per square foot was $222, while in Knoxville, the median price per square foot was $217. So in Knoxville, you could expect your money to go just a little bit further. Now, of course, there are other factors that come into play when considering cost of living. If you'd like to know more about these, I encourage you to look at rentcafe.com and use their cost of living comparison tool. If you're planning to relocate to Tennessee from another state, this is also a really useful tool to see how far your money will go in this state. In reality, the cost of living is not dramatically different between Chattanooga and Knoxville. The fourth category is higher education opportunities. Now there are plenty of universities and colleges in and around both Knoxville and Chattanooga, but in this segment, I'm really just gonna focus on 
University of Tennessee at Knoxville versus University of Tennessee at Chattanooga. UT's Knoxville campus is the main campus, so it's about three times the size of the campus in Chattanooga. It's also an SEC school, so if you're into sports, then Knoxville has got you covered. UTK is home to the Vols. I have yet to go to a Vols game, but I have driven through Knoxville during some home games, and it is crazy. Like, the traffic is nuts. This is because Neyland Stadium is there, and its capacity is just over 100,000. So just imagine the hype and the energy that a crowd that size generates. It also generates a lot of traffic. In terms of academic experiences, it seems like there are more research opportunities out of UTK than there are out of UTC. This is particularly true for STEM students. UT's Chattanooga campus is significantly smaller than the Knoxville one, so if you're looking for a more intimate college experience, then UTC could be a good option for you. If I was choosing between Chattanooga and Knoxville on the basis of university campuses alone, I would definitely choose Knoxville. The fifth category is quality of life. Your quality of life or your perception of quality of life is really gonna depend on what your values and needs are. When researching this section of the video, I spent quite a bit of time on Reddit because I like to read what real people are saying about living in both of these cities. So let's talk about what people have said about these two cities. One thing that gets brought up over and over again is how Chattanooga has really utilized its waterfront well. On North Shore, you've got Coolidge and Renaissance Parks, you've got the Walnut Street Walking Bridge, You've got the riverfront that's been developed with Ross's Landing, the Tennessee Aquarium, IMAX. Knoxville really hasn't done too much with their waterfront. And from what I've read, it doesn't seem like there's a huge probability that they will do much with their waterfront. When people are comparing the two cities, they often comment on how Chattanooga is better planned overall. Knoxville is suffering from a bit of urban sprawl. I think part of the reason for this is there are no natural boundaries that hem the city in like there are in Chattanooga. In my opinion, this difference in city planning really comes down to Chattanooga's growth mindset. Chattanooga is trying to establish itself as a tech industry hub. They're doing this by building out the nation's fastest internet and quantum networking capabilities, and they're trying to make the city attractive to a younger, tech-focused demographic. Knoxville, on the other hand, can rely on the economic stability that comes with University of Tennessee's main campus being there, the headquarters of the Tennessee Valley Authority being there, and Oak Ridge National Laboratory. Because of these massive state and nationally sponsored organizations, there's not this pressure on Knoxville to plan really hard for its future. So I think that that's what's really separating Chattanooga and Knoxville. Okay, hopefully this has been helpful to you. I personally think that Chattanooga is the better city to live in overall, but I would love to know what you think in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.